In this tutorial, we're going to learn about how to uh, incorporate charts and uh, calculated fields and calculated items into our uh, pivot tables for analysis of data. So <clears throat> let's first of all select the data and we go up and select insert, <clears throat> pivot table. We select the range and as always, we always select only those cells that have data in them and all the cells are populated with data so that's great let's put it on a new worksheet so we have plenty of room to work with and uh, there we go so let's ask a, a business question of this data let's ask uh, uh, show me the profit per customer so the profit per customer would look something like that by default the customers are alphabetized and here's the profit. So if we were in a sales meeting and the sales vice president would say, well, what would it look like if uh, our profit would increase by 5% for next year? So this is our profit that we have to date. And what we want to do is we want to increase that by 5%. And uh, in the trivial sense, what we can do is uh, analyze, we can apply formulas uh, and add columns or uh, fields to our pivot table. So to do that, we will go up and we will do uh, click on analyze fields, items, and sets. And we'll see there we have an opportunity to make a calculated field. So we are going to insert a calculated field and we're going to give it a name that makes sense 5% increase. and profit and the formula is very simple uh, where we take uh, the field which would be profit plus a five percent plus a five percent increase in that profit so we put in profit times 5% and we can go ahead and click OK and immediately we see that our profit for each of our customers is then calculated with a 5% increase. From an analysis point of view, a visual analysis, this isn't really the best. It makes a lot more sense for us to take our sum values and drag it up and put it in a column. So here we have the original uh, profit, the sum of the profit. And here we have the sum 5% uh, increase in the sum. So we can see that for AT&T, last year we had $53,216. If we're going to increase that by 5%, uh, we need to uh, hit a target of $55,876.80. Now, another question that we may want to ask is uh, uh, what, what profit to our company comes from uh, financial sector companies. And uh, looking up and down this data, we see we do have uh, a couple of financial sector companies we sell to. We sell to Bank of America, which is in the financial sector, and we sell to uh, City Group, which is also a bank in the financial uh, sector. But as you can see, we, we do not have a record or row or item uh, we for financial sectors our uh, records or items only show individual companies so if our sales vice president says what is the profit coming from companies in the financial sector we would have to go and create a new record or item and uh, to do that again we need to make sure that we select uh, the appropriate uh, column in this case customer we go up and analyze fields, items, and sets, and there it is, calculated item. And in our calculated item, we're going to call this the financial sector, where the financial sector equals uh, Bank of America plus Citigroup. And watch what happens down here. You'll see a click, uh, and we'll go click OK. 
and when we click OK, look what happened. A new record or item was added called financial sector and the sum, the values that are shown here are the profit from our financial sector companies from last year and what it would look like if we had a 5% increase in the financial sector for next year. Now what you need to be very careful about is where you click because dependent upon where you click is what options are going to be available to you. So for instance when I clicked over here in the field area you can see the calculated item uh, field uh, is not uh, available, it's not selectable. Only calculated fields can be uh, uh, entered at this time. In order to have a calculated item I would have to go over here and select the column where the items are, the rows of the records, and when I do that, look what happens. And there, now the calculated item is selectable, and I can do, uh, can perform that calculation. So uh, if you're doing a calculated or cal calculated field or calculated item, and uh, these items are not selectable, uh, the problem probably exists that you have not selected the right area of your pivot table. So there we go. That is a, a really quick and easy way uh, explanation to do calculated items and calculated fields. Now let's look at charts. Charts are also very easy to do. Let's go back to the data. Again, let's go up here to insert. And uh, this time uh, in Microsoft Office 2013, uh, the pivot chart icon has been separated from the table. It is now over here under charts and uh, let's go ahead and create a pivot chart and there again it evaluates our data selecting only those cells that have data in them never selecting an empty cell. Again let's put that on a new worksheet and uh, here is the area in which our chart is going to appear. At this time uh, let's look at our profit per product. So our product and profit. And it gives us a bar chart by default. So it shows we have three products, product A, B, C, D, E, F, X, Y, Z. Uh, and that's one way to look at it. I think that when you evaluate this instead of doing a bar chart, uh, it makes a lot more sense to actually go and use a um, uh, pie chart because when you use a pie chart then visually you can analyze it a lot better. You can see definitely uh, product DEF uh, has a larger slice of the pie, uh, in fact 75 percent of the slice of the pie versus ABC uh, which has about 22 percent and XYZ which has about 3 percent. So again uh, a very powerful tool Here's the data that backs up the chart, uh, visually allows us to analyze. And that's it. So that's how you can use some advanced features in uh, pivot tables. You can uh, insert pivot charts for the visual representation of the data. Uh, you can do calculated fields and calculated items.